I'm Sierra Gaither with Carolina Pottery. So we started out by taking our Christmas tree and fluffing our tree. Now we're going to do the next step of adding mesh to our Christmas tree. Today I'm going to show you several different ways that you can add it. The first one is we're going to go from the top of the tree to the bottom of the tree. So I'm just using a 21 inch roll of mesh. It has 10 yards on it and I'm just going to drop it down on the floor and you'll notice that I have the side that curls up facing the tree. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to gather this in one hand and I'm going to come to the top of my tree and I'm going to attach it. I'm using an artificial tree so I'm able to use the branches to attach my mesh on. So I'm going to come to this branch here and I'm just going to wrap that all the way around my mesh. Now if you have a live tree at home, all you would do is take some wire, wire that around your mesh and then wire it into your tree. So no big deal whether you have artificial or a live tree. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the mesh and I'm going to roll the sides underneath. And I, you can make your puffs as big or as small as you want them to. I'm going to do about 10 inches and I'm going to take that puff, stick it into my tree and then again wrap the branch around. So I'm going to go all the way down the tree. This way I'm just adding a straight line top to bottom of the tree. Depending on the size of your tree will depend on how many strips down you want to do. On a tree this size, this is a seven and a half foot tree and it's what we call a slim line. For this tree, I would do three rows. One in the front, one on this side, and one on this side. So we're just gonna keep on going from the top to the bottom. Okay, so now we've gotten all the way down to the bottom of our tree, and it's up to you how long you want to leave this. You can leave some of it draping down, or you can just tuck the last puff in and just cut it short. I like to leave some draping down. So I'm gonna roll this under, attach it one more time, and this then just using regular scissors, I'm gonna leave some hanging, cut right across, and now I've done my first strip. Then you're ready to start up on the next side. You're gonna do the exact same thing that you did last time. Gather it in your hand, hook on the side, and keep on going. One thing you can do is if you decide that your puffs are too small, you can go back in, pull out the mesh, and fluff them out. So this is the first way that you can use mesh on your Christmas tree. So how many rolls of mesh do you need? Well, that actually depends on how big your tree is. For this tree, I'm using a roll and a half. And what I'm gonna do with the mesh that's left over is I've unrolled it off of the roll and I'm just gonna place it around the bottom of my tree as a tree skirt. And it's really simple. You just unroll and put all the way around the base. Then you have a nice place to set all your presents for Christmas. So make sure you stay tuned in to find out other ways that you can decorate your tree for Christmas. I'm Sarah Gaither with Carolina Pottery.